Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm super excited about Hydrochain from Shopify. This enables us to create custom Shopify storefronts that are super fast. This will bring us the next generation of online shop experience. Today, I'm going to show you a developer preview of the content editor for Hydrochain I'm currently working on. It's a collection of React components and the Shopify app, which allows content editors to modify text within a Shopify admin. So let's dive into it. This is a demo store that comes with the Hydrogen Developer Preview, and it's called Snow Devil. It's a, it's a snowboard store with a couple of products and collections. On liquid-based stores, the content editor can update and customize the theme via the theme editor. This is available via Shopify Admin. This enables him to change the text, change images, add sections, and so on. This is not available through Shopify Hydrogen. Alternatively, you can use one of the many headless CMS tools out there. Uh, for instance, uh, there is uh, Sanity, Strapi or Storyblock. The problem is that uh, the content editors have to use a separate tool to manage the content assets. This is why I started to develop a content editor for Hydrogen that is tightly integrated into the Shopify ecosystem. Now I show you how the editor works. So let's switch to StackBlitz. StackBlitz is a development environment in the browser and uh, did already mention that I really love it. It's, it's so cool. There are the files on the left. Uh, I'm connected to my GitHub repository. There is the editor in the middle and a preview of the page on the right. This is exactly what, we, what we've seen before. For this demo, I created a test store. So let's first connect to my Shopify test store. This is done through Shopify config.js. I had to restart the server and on the preview on the right, you can see that we are connected to uh, the test store I created. It's called Next Content Editor. And this is uh, where we're going to make the content changes and it has, has already the, the content editor app installed. So first we'd like to, to make the title and the subtitle editable. So um, therefore we have to open the welcome component. This is in source uh, components welcome.server.js. And Let's scroll down to, to the content. Here's uh, where we find the content that we want to make editable. So I've created a React component called editable. So let's surround the text we would like to make editable with the component. It's called editable. And it requires a namespace. This is because um, we, we store the data in uh, meta fields. Uh, I use it, uh, for instance, home for the home page and welcome because it's uh, the welcome section. <clears throat> and we surround it. In addition, we could uh, add a scope. So, uh, for instance, um, if we would like to, to store the meta fields in the in the in the product scope, we can can add it, but now this this one we, we store in the uh, shop scope in the default. So then we need a schema definition. The schema definition is equivalent with uh, the schema definition for for sections in in Liquid. So we we use the same syntax just in a uh, JavaScript object. So um, we, we give it a name. Um, welcome settings. 
and type text an ID lab label. The second one for the subtitle I text ID subtitle label subtitle. Of course, the schema can include blocks so that you can, for instance, create image galleries. So next we have to use the use editable hook uh, to display the data from the meta fields. So let's create const editable. We call it welcome because we it's the welcome equals use editable. We call it home welcome. And then we have to give a default data if there is no data available in, in the meta fields. So let's uh, define the result. It's called starts with settings. This is the default data structure uh, of the data that is returned through liquid as well. Uh, default title. Default subtitle. Now let's reference those values uh, within the component. Let's go to the down to the scroll down to the component uh, and replace hello hydrogen with um, editable welcome dot settings dot title and Welcome.settings.subtitle. When you save it, uh, you will see the default values in, in the preview. Voila. The text has changed with the default values, the default title and default subtitle. Both uh, the editable React component and the use editable hook are the only two th things you have to know. And it's uh, pretty easy. So now let's jump to the app to make modifications on the text like any other content editor. Yeah. Here is uh, the demo store with the Hydrogen content editor app installed. It's a custom app. Of course, the, the, the name will change. It's just a working title. So uh, let's start the app. This is the start screen of the app. Here, just uh, enter the URL to the hydrogen storefront. Let's do it and uh, open the editor. As you can see on the right hand side, there is a preview uh, of, of the current uh, store. And on the left hand side, there are the editable sections that we defined earlier. So now let's uh, change the text we defined in the welcome component earlier. Go to the welcome component and set the title. Hello. Marcus and welcome to the hydrogen content editor. Save the values. As you can see, the page refreshes and the new text we just entered uh, is available on, on the page. This is a developer preview of uh, the Hydrogen Content Editor I'm currently working on. What's uh, also very interesting is uh, how we store the data. Therefore, I switch to the GraphQL Explorer. Let's go to the GraphQL Explorer app. Use uh, the latest API version 
and query for all meta fields with the namespace home welcome. Here are the results. And as you can see, the title is stored in, in one of the, the meta fields and the subtitle as well. And uh, we use the types <clears throat> that a fitting meta field type from, from the definition, uh, from the meta field type definition. Okay, this is how we store the data and retrieve it. I'm really excited what Shopify built with uh, Hydrogen, and I hope you enjoyed my demo of the content editor. So if you have an additional feedback or questions, just leave a comment below and uh, definitely will get back to you.